Smith for Fandango Movie Clips, and these are my top 10 movies to give thanks for. In at number 10 is Scent of a Woman. This one is really just all about the acting performances for me. This is the birthplace of Al Pacino's famous hoo These two men as an odd couple really helping to change each other is just what Thanksgiving is all about. I'm in the dark here! Yeah. You can dance a tango and drive a Ferrari better than anyone I've ever seen. In at number 9, we've got Bridget Jones' Diary. Fall is the perfect weather for me for rom-coms, which doesn't happen often, but it's the weather when you can really curl up with a book and blanket and tea and watch Bridget Jones fall in and out of love and into love again. I like you. Apart from the smoking. Just as you are. At number 8, it's Groundhog Day, with a whole lot of Bill Murray sarcasm. Seeing Miss Phil go from a crotchety man to one who loves his city. I'm happy now. And can connect with a super hottie like Andy McDowell after learning to be not such a jerk should help you be nicer to your family, unless you want to relive Thanksgiving over and over and over again. Number 7, we have Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, a John Hughes classic with some serious heart and humor. And when you put Steve Martin and John Candy in anything, I am on board, especially like that awkward in the bed sequence that they have together. Those are pillows. Ah! I mean, guys, they just want to get home for Thanksgiving. Number six is Nightmare Before Christmas. One of the best stop motion films from Tim Burton's crazy, creepy, and also heartwarming mind. Can Jack save Christmas in the end after his team sort of ruins it? Well, you'll just have to watch to find out. Number five is About Time. I think this is one of the best films that shows a family who just really loves each other. Oh. And did I mention that all the guys in this family can time travel? Sounds kind of weird, but it really is just a great love story between a father and son. At number four, we have Harry Potter, all of them, because what better place to eat your Thanksgiving meal than in Hogwarts Main Hall, right? So if you want a marathon of magical proportions that the whole family will love, might I suggest Harry Potter? Guys, if you don't watch this movie, you're gonna get us all killed. The worst. At number three, it's Hook. We've got an all grown up Peter Pan played by Robin Williams who has to go back to Neverland to fight Dustin Hoffman's version of Captain Hook. One of my favorite scenes is the dining table scene where all the food turns into super colorful Play-Doh. At number two is Legends of the Fall. Hello guys, fall is in the title, but it's an awesome family love story with beautiful scenery. Spoiler alert. Brad Pitt's wife dies, and it is so upsetting, but I guess that means he's single in that world, right? Yeah. It's one of my favorite Brad Pitt films. If there's ever been a question about Brad Pitt just being a pretty face, I think that he proves in this movie that he is an incredible actor as well. Coming in at number one is the Middle Earth Saga. Now, if you know me at all, you knew that this was gonna come in at number one because there's no bad time to watch The Lord of the Rings. And with the final film from the Hobbit series coming out, The Battle of the Five Armies, this is the perfect way to prepare yourselves. And I gotta admit, they're kind of like my dream Thanksgiving family. I mean, you've got Frodo and Samwise and Merry and Pip and Gandalf and Gimli and Legolas and Aragorn and Eowyn and Erwin. And then also you have to add in Sauron and Sodomon because you can't have the good guys win unless there are some bad guys for them to fight, right? So sit down on your couch with your second round of turkey and watch some good guys slay some orcs. Legolas! I'm on 17! Just to recap, my top 10 films to give thanks for are Scent of a Woman, Bridget Jones' Diary, Groundhog Day, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, Nightmare Before Christmas, About Time, Harry Potter, Hook, Legends of the Fall, and The Middle Earth Saga. Well, that's my top 10, but we want to hear what your favorite Thanksgiving films are, so make sure you leave them in the comments below. I'm Tiffany Smith for Fandango Movie Clips, and I'll see you next time.